Hello everyone and welcome to The Little Blue Fly. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing on um, decorating here in the living room for summer. But I must tell you, I am pretty close to starting my fall decorating. Um, you know, it's just been so hot. Uh, I just, I believe I'm just ready for the cooler weather to begin, you know, August, I mean, July and August. I don't care where you live here in the States. It's, it's always so brutal, right? It's always just so hot. And even sitting in a cool air conditioned home with a fan on my face, pretty much at all times, it's still, I know it's a no day outside. I know when I open up my door, it's just going to say no. And I'm going to close that door right up. So anyways, um, we're going to continue on in the living room today over here to the right. Um, and then soon, very soon, I will be starting my fall decorating, actually in August, early August. So, that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so over here I added in a couple items, a basket with some sedum and an old clock and another basket here up front with the summer reed that um, my daughter London um, has started on. And this is the area we will be working on. This was a thrifted piece off of Facebook Marketplace. I love all the stenciling on this piece. Very, very French country. Now I know this piece has a name to it and I always forget. So. I would appreciate it if any of you knew, because um, I always just call this my candle cupboard. Um, but again, I know it has a name for it. And as you can see, my husband's electronics down below, they can still be seen. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it'll be that way for, but my husband, he said, he, he tells me, they're nice. They're nice electronics. They're very nice. They don't need to be covered up. They need to be displayed. So I don't know. Anyhow, I'm going to decorate the top. So we're going to start from the very top and we are just going to work our way down. Again, this was found off Facebook Marketplace just my style over to the side i have my vintage uh, botanicals that i thrifted from an antique store many years ago and then the two lamps they i believe i have them in my amazon storefront if not they're just called black stem lamps s-t-e-m lamps and they can be found many different stores online. And then the frames, they were purchased from Aaron Brothers many years ago. I it was buy one, um, get one for for a no, for I think it was a penny. Yeah, I think it was a penny. And they just work perfectly with my um, decor style and colors. And then of course I still have my candle hanging from, well candles, taper candles hanging from the hook on the cabinet. I love doing that, adding little, um, little hanging candles all over different hooks throughout the, or you know, doorknobs um, all throughout the house. Now I will be placing this, it's a faux um, potted boxwood that was purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it has some lights in it. And what I love about this piece is they made this little hole right here to place in your battery pack. Look at this, perfect. 
and it just hides, just tucks right in, in the back. So I placed one up on the left and the right. I love the look of the pottery, you know, it's like an aged creamy color. And then of course the green, that always brings in the warmth. And look who came to play today. It's Dilbert. And Dilbert is um, a vintage, or some people say not, um, wooden duck that has the perfect aged detail all over him. And I believe Dilbert was a Facebook marketplace find. I'm not sure. I love his curved back. And I decided to call him Dilbert because he was just green like a pickle. So um, <laughs> I actually had one of those today for lunch. But anyhow, um, yes, it, you can do a simple Google for vintage um, wooden ducks and several of them will come up. But this is our Dilbert. So I placed them right up at top in the center. And as you can see, the greens are really starting to pull from my botanical prints. And I've stated this several times. I love to pull the colors out from my prints that are on the walls. And this clock, it's not an old clock, but I do love the style of it. It is battery operated. Came from the at home store and the colors just work perfectly and as you can see the clock is not moving so that means i need to change the battery <laughs> so i place the clock right underneath dilbert's chin and this next piece is a beautiful piece. It is called a fairy lamp. And you just simply take off the top lid and you place a tea light inside. And it just has the most spectacular glow during the evening. These fairy lamps, they're everywhere and they come in several different colors. So that is it for the top portion of my cabinet. Now, just look, even a closer look, that the detailing, all the stencil work, it's just, oh, it's absolutely delicious. I don't think I'm ever going to tire of this piece. I absolutely love it. And if mama was still here, she would adore it. She would say, Bevy, this piece needs to come to my home. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm going to add in some more hanging candles. And as you can see, they are, um, they do have a warmer tone than the others. And that is perfect. Because what it's doing here, it's like on the cabinet, you can see the aged detailing, the lighter with the warmer colors you can do the same thing with your candles and it just makes things just that much more interesting i'm going to use this uh, plant stand plate stand or just a stand for anything really um, it was purchased from hobby lobby and i placed on my harlequin plate that um, I actually gave a DIY on how to achieve this look. Um, you'll see the plate on the front of the video. And my B plate. Oh, this is a treasure. I picked this up from Robin King. So I've mentioned her before. It's Robin King, K I N G uh, dot com. She has the most gorgeous decoupaged items at her website let her know the little blue fly sent you she will be happy to see each and every one of you so many beautiful designs and she still has this b plate for sale 
robinkingdesigns.com. Yes, I think I just said robinking.com. It's robinkingdesigns.com. And the two just go perfectly with each other. Adding in the harlequin just gives that perfect touch of whimsy and really helps make your other decor pieces stand out. And since it's a candle cupboard, I'm going to add in a couple candles. This scent is scrumptious. Now, I, I purchased this from... Um, actually these I have a couple from Maryfield Garden but I know for sure they can be found online a must must have wonderful scent and the colors go perfectly with everything so I'm sort of bringing out the yellow um, you know the the gold colors in this vignette today it just lightens things up a bit because the furniture piece is already darker in color, so. Now this is, I'm turning it around so you can really see the handle. Absolutely gorgeous. Mackenzie Childs, their candle snuffer. And this really has a good amount of weight to it. And I just really wanted to add this piece in my vignette. I, I don't think I will ever tire decorating this piece. And up front, I placed, I'm placing my chair. Now, this chair still is not finished and I just don't think I'm ever going to finish this. I'm going to take, it is the, the piping. Um, I think that's what you call it. The trim that goes all around. I'm just going to take it to a local company here and ask them if they will stitch it for me. And I'll just add it, you know, around the arms and, you know, the form of the chair. But I have another chair and I will be sharing a full DIY on how I achieve this and Next, I'm go going to be giving you a close-up of all the aged goodness. <laughs> <laughs> 